All right, so what we're here to do today is we're actually doing a concrete countertop, two of them, at a pool company. So we're using our pool forms there, from Z Pool Forms, to actually form up the countertop with to make it look like a pool deck. So when people walk in the store, they can kind of get an idea of what the pool deck coping is gonna look like. So Darren and I are here today just to start the forming process, and we're gonna use one of our form liners here, the red ones on this higher piece, and then we'll use our yellow form liners, which is a little bit different texture on the lower one. We're gonna put some color in the concrete when we go to pour on one side and then no color on the other, just to give it a little bit different effect. So today's all about figuring out these forms on a countertop and then hopefully tomorrow we get the pouring done and the finishing done. So the way these the way these forms go on is the pool guy puts this strip on here for us. It's already on. And then our forms, our forms are made tap right inside that groove. You can see that right there. That groove right there taps right in over this. And that holds it really good and snug. The tricky part about this versus the pool is there's just so many more corners than there is on a pool. Pools are usually curved, and then we have curved forms too, so we'll run the curves right around. again. Thank you. 
All right, so concrete's here. We got the rebar tied in. Just about ready to go. We're gonna, we're gonna pour it right out of the wheelbarrow right there, right in the wheelbarrow. We'll wheelbarrow it around and then just shovel it up over. That's probably the easiest way for now. So we got 4,000 PSI mix, a couple of yards of concrete. Got the best concrete driver in the world right here. Right, Brian? Wow. Best concrete driver in the world? Well, not the best, but better than some we got. <laughs> not as good as others. And that's how we're gonna put it in right there. Probably got what, four, four and a half slump, Brian? Well, no, that's probably around a three to four. So pretty stiff. Like it stiff. Oh wow, she does, yeah. You want me to give that a couple gallons or you want to stay with that? Okay, I'll stay here and man the camera. That over there to your left gentleman is Luke, he's Lukey Bear. And the other one to the middle is Pooh. And of course you know Mike Day anyway, yeah. You gonna start, you gonna narrate it? Yeah, I narrated it. Poor guy. You still have the same girlfriend? No, oh, they broke out. Oh no. Spent money on that engagement ring. Doing truck driver. Coming in here, you going out there? Yeah, but you can say it. Harley, I guess. 
Okay, that Larry guy didn't call. He's a liar, right? That Larry guy never called. Really? Yeah. He probably heard you see the word. Load time out, Darren, or not? Yes. You got all your own? Yes. Okay. Just out of the system. Ah! Hey. Go break all your people to get to your own. We do the first one with uh, peak wash. I really think that if we can perfect the peak wash and just use the staff, then you're not getting any of that. Someone like the choice. Some people like that watch. Yeah. Which I don't know what that is. If you use the heat on that, the company's going to show up. All right, so we're about an hour and a half after the pour. It's firming up quite a bit. I think we're about ready to stamp. So we're going to just give it a quick mag. And we're going to spray on some liquid release. Liquid release has a little color in it. And uh, we're going to just stamp this bottom section. Like I said, we got our rock texture stamped right over there. So let's get at it. All right, so stone texture countertop. This one here is just about ready to start traveling. Pretty firm. It's been about two hours after the pour, firming up pretty good for inside on a rainy day. Yeah, you can see this texture. Oh, looks good. Looks like stone. All right, that's it for that. So we're gonna be trialing this in a minute. We'll be back in a minute. The thinner it is, I think the better it will be. Darren, let you get going. Okay. I figured they were staying in Portland and I was going to tell them. Can dip in the edge? Yeah. Alright, I'll put this on the inside, I guess.
That looks weird to you, Dan. Like maybe. No? I think she's finished on it. Oh, it's just. Oh, it's going to be the hand going through like that. Looks like it's not too cool. Yeah. We were really happy about how the Z pool forms worked on this countertop. Those edges came out really, really good. The slate edge and then the rock edge on the other side. And then to seal this, we used the two-part polyaspartic sealer. Same stuff we used to uh, put on a concrete floor. And this stuff worked really, really good. It, it, it left, you know, it, it brought out the color. It really sealed up the surface and it's gonna make for a great countertop for this pool company. So anyway, let me know down in the comments how you guys think this came out. Uh, if you need help with any stuff like this, you can join the Concrete Underground. I'm in there, I got all kinds of training videos in there and I, I teach you how to do stuff like this. So let me know down in the comments if you got any questions and we'll see you on the next video guys. Thanks a lot.